Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Michiana Tech Help Show and in today's video I'm going to go over the Gmail service. Now for those of you who are worried about me not talking about the original video series on building a website, do not worry. I'm going to bounce between subjects so that you know people don't get bored. Now the first thing I want you guys to do on this video is I want you to go to www.gmail.com. Now I've been using Gmail since college, which is probably, well, about eight years I think. And uh, i got to be honest with you, it's a fantastic service. You don't have to use Outlook. You don't have to use any software on your computer. Uh, everything's hosted on the website, so you can access it anywhere. Now, some of the main reasons to switch to Gmail. It's up to you, obviously. If you're comfortable with where you're at, why would you switch? There's no sense in doing it. But first of all, there is lots of space, about 8 gigabytes of storage. And you don't have to use this space just for email. You can actually use this as a remote storage for a lot of your files as well. We'll talk about that later in the series. Less spam. Let's just say everybody who's using Gmail marks certain things as spam and certain things as not. Imagine that filter worldwide being used at all times. Google keeps really good track of what is spam and what isn't, and it's like probably the best spam filter that's out there. And mobile access, it'll work with just about any mobile phone, particularly Android phones, in which it'll actually synchronize in real time, which means if you delete something on your phone, your Android phone, it'll actually delete it in your inbox as well. So there's a lot of great features and a lot of good reasons to switch. Now, for those of you who want to know how to register, that's pretty much what this video is about. Once you've gone to gmail.com, up in the right-hand corner, you have a Create an Account button. Go ahead and select that and enter all your information along this right side pane and scroll down and remember make sure you enter everything and you're as accurate as you possibly can be select next step and after you've registered you're basically going to go to gmail.com again so let's go back gmail.com and then let's go ahead and log in so I'm going to go to my email account and I'm going to sign in here and what we're looking at here is the new interface for Gmail. Now for those of you who first sign in, you're not gonna see this interface. You're actually gonna see the older interface, but that's fine, it looks similar. I'm gonna show you how to switch to the new interface in an upcoming video. So that's basically how you register for the free Google Mail service. I wanted to show you how to get started on registering your Gmail account so that in the future videos in this series, you'll be able to learn some of the awesome, awesome advanced features of Gmail, and <clears throat> including importing your old emails, uh, adding signatures to your emails, uh, properly forwarding and adding contacts, conversation views, all kinds of great, great features. Uh, so stick to, stick to this series. I'm sorry, this is kind of a short video. Very easy to do. And, uh, and play around with it. Let me know how it goes. Uh, as always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. And do not forget to subscribe and stick around. i got plenty more to show you.